Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the English session. This is Mrs. Dua Sober, your English teacher, and we will continue studying Connect Four. Today, we are going to study Unit Two, lesson number two. So please make sure that you bring all your books with you in the session, and you should also bring along some paper and a pen. That's all that you need to enjoy our lessons. Okay, are you ready to play a game? Yes, we are going to play a very interesting game. Let's go. Our game called the Animal Ladder Game. So let's draw a ladder, a very long ladder. Okay, and we are going to write the first name of any animal that you remember. And then, for example, camel on the first step. Okay, camel, can you see which letter it ends with? It ends with L. Okay, now we are going to find another animal's name starting with letter L. Yes, that's the game. Very good, leathered. Super. So, leathered ends with D. So, give me another animal's name starting with D. Excellent, dog. Okay, it ends with G. Another animal starting with G, goat. Very good. Okay, it ends with T. Yes, tiger, very good. This animal's name ends with R, so rhino. Yes, super. Okay, and that's it. By the way, this kind of games can help you to study any kind of vocab that you want. Now, I want you to open page 26 and I want you to think about exercise one. Okay, page 26. Now, we'll start with question one. Read it please with me. What Egyptian desert animals do you know? Huh, what do you think? Which animal can you see in the desert? Camels, for example. Yes, snakes, fennec fox. Very good. Okay, now we can write here. For example, the fennec fox. It's kind of foxes, okay? Okay, for number two. Is it easy to live in the desert? Can you live in the desert? Yes, for you as, as a human. Can you live in the desert for a long time? I don't think so, it's very hard. So for me, I will write no. Okay, no, I can't live in the desert. I can't live without water. Okay, why? I just said it. Why you can't live in the desert? It's very hot there, right, or cold? Yes, very hot. Okay, so because it's very hot, huh? What else? Yes, no water. Yes, very good. No water. And another thing, huh? Yes, it's very dry there. Very good. It's very dry. 
Okay, so what problems do animals have there? I think it's the same answers. It's very hot there, no animals or just few animals, few number of animals can resist for this hot, no water, yes, and it's very dry. Very good answers. Okay, now I want you to read here this animal fact file about the fennec fox. Okay, look at this picture. This is the fennec fox. It's very cute, right? Okay, so I want you to read it carefully in order to understand some facts about this kind of animals. Okay, let's check some questions about the phoenix fox. Okay, question number two. Look at the fact files and answer. Number one, which animal has big ears? Which animal has big ears? Yeah, super, the fennec fox. Very good. Okay, number two, which animal can fly in the desert? Yes, with a very strong and big wings. What do you think? Is it a bird? Kind of bird? Is it a parrot, for example? No, of course not. Desert needs a very strong animal to live there, right? Okay, so which animal? Yes, exactly. The step eagle. Very good. The step eagle. Excellent. It's very, very strong with very, very strong vision. Yes, do you know that? Excellent. Okay. Number three, which animal lives for about 40 years? Yes, go back to the fact file about the step eagle and you will know. Yes, I just got the answer. Excellent. So, the animal which live for about 40 years is the step eagle. Very good. Okay, you are doing a very, very great job. Now, I want you to open page 27 and check the first question. Here is page 27. I want you to read very carefully some file fact or the fact file about the step eagle. Okay. Yes. About how long does it live? How heavy it is? How long is it? Yes. Very good. And read it carefully, please. And about the fennec fox, also we have some Fact about it. You remember the last text in the last page? Yes, in the previous page we were talking about the fennec fox and now we are talking about the step eagle. Excellent. Okay. Now, tell me some facts about the fennec fox. Okay. You know, of course, that the fennec fox and the step eagle both are living in the, huh, in the city? No, they are living in the desert. Excellent. Okay, so give me another fact about, for example, the step eagle. Exactly, it's a bird or an animal that lives in the desert. And tell me please, is it living on the ground, in the land, in houses? No, it lives in an open area. So let's write some facts about the step eagle. So, the step eagle. Needs. 
an open air area to live in. Exactly. Okay, what about the fennec fox? Huh? Can you tell me? Very good. It had very long ears. Do you remember? Okay, let's write it. has a long ear to hear insects. Super, you are doing just great job. Now I want you to turn over the page and open page 28 to complete the exercise. Look here, exercise four, read the fact file again. So you should go back to the two fact files about the fennec fox and about the eagle to check these questions. Number one, why does the fennec fox have big ears? Again, why does the fennec fox have long ears? Yes, exactly. It's letter A. Because it can see small animals and insects. Or it can hear small animals and insects to see or to hear the long ears. Yes, exactly. To hear because of the long ears. Very good. So it's B. Number two. Why do you think the steep eagle travels from Europe to Africa. Yes, why do you think the steep eagle travels from Europe to Africa in winter? It flies from Europe to Africa. Exactly, because Africa is bigger than Europe. Super. Very, very good job. Excellent. Now we are going to turn Two, exercise five, and please tell me what did you learn from the fact files of our animals today? I want you to reread the text and to study it very well in order to answer this. You are going to ask some question. Yes, we have some words to use in order to find out the answers of this exercise. For example, what does the fennec fox eat? It eats insects, small lizards, and mice. This is the favorite food for the fennec fox. Very good. Okay, now... I'm going to write long wait and eat i want you to think about these three words and find out the questions okay long very good how long is it wait how much weight does it? Very good. And eat. What kind of food do it prefer? Exactly. Okay. Now, let's write the questions again. Okay, one by one, we are going to repeat it. The long, how long is it? And don't forget the question mark because it's a question. Okay, number two, I'm asking about the weight. So, how much 
does it weigh? Very good. How much does it weigh? Very good. Think about the last one. Eat exactly what kind of food does it eat? What kind of food does it eat? Question mark. Very good. Now, I want you to think of the answers for the, those questions and tell me or to think about it and discuss it with your friends, for example. Okay, now tell me the answer of this. Which animals scares you? Can you tell me which animals scares you, make you feel scared? Huh? Yes, maybe the snake? Okay, what else? Okay, do you know what? This will be your homework for today. And remember that no answers are wrong. You just write the answer that you want. Very good, students. Now, I want you to turn over your pages into page 29 and to look at the picture in it. Okay, page 29. Look at this picture. Huh. Wow, it's a snake. What do you think? Why this snake is lifting up his head? Look at this. Wow, it's very scary. Yeah, I feel scared sometimes from the snake. Okay, so what is it doing? Yeah, it's lifting up its head. And how does it feel? Huh, what do you think? Yes, think with me. I think that it probably feels scared. Very good. Why it feels scared? Because maybe sometimes or it say so someone or something. Yes, that's it for the snake. Okay, look at the other one. It's a picture for a stab eagle. Excellent. Okay, it's flying in the sky. Wow. So, tell me, what can it see from up? Yes, very good. It can see the mountains. It's flying over the mountains and can see the whole world under it. Very good. Okay, so how does it feel? Yes, very good. It feels happy. Yes, of course. Put him, put yourself in his shoes. Yes, of course, if he over if you fly away over the mountains of course you will feel free and happy excellent job okay now i want you to go back to the fact files and we are going to play another game Okay, now I'm going to write some numbers on the board and you can tell me why are they important, okay? 20, 170, 1, and 30. Okay, so would you please back to the text for the file, yes, to the fact file, to revise 20. What's referring to? Yes, exactly. A fennec fox is 20 centimeter tall. How cute, it's very short. So, the fennec, the fennec fox 
is 20 centimeter long. Very good. What about 170? Yes, exactly. A stubby eagle's wings measure 170 centimeter. A step eagle's wing measure 170 centimeter. You're doing a great job. What about number one? Yes, it refers to what? Exactly. A fennec fox weighs one kilogram. Very good. A fennec fox. weighs one kilogram and the last number is 30 yes great a fennec fox is 30 centimeter long a fennec fox yes is some 30 centimeter long you are just uh, hard workers. Okay. In the next lesson, you're going to learn about camels and horses. So please think of one fact about each animal of those animals for the next lesson. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation with me. And I hope that you enjoy our lesson today. Next time, we will have more fun and fun. So we are going to learn new things and I will be waiting for you. See you next time. Goodbye.